Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Everything Apple and today I'm just going to show you how to share files between Windows PC and Mac OS X, Lion or Snow Leopard. This process can work with Windows Vista or Windows 7 or Windows XP and with Snow Leopard and Mac OS X Lion. So let's just get started guys. First, as you go on your PC, you click on start and you fill in CMD and enter and this pop-up will go up and you fill in ipconfig with no space and enter kind of just scroll up a little and it's going to say ethernet adapter local area connection and this is this is what you have to remember ipv4 address you just need to write this number down 192.168.1 point dash dash dot whatever your IP address is. Just write it down or keep it in your mind or something. Once you've done that, you can just close that. And uh, one other thing I need you guys to do is go and start computer properties. As you can see, I'm running a Windows 7 Home Premium. So you can just go on uh, remote settings and allow this should be checked allow remote assistance connections to this computer now I am doing this on my laptop because uh, my PC is kind of in damage right now so yeah and now as you've done that remote settings you can close that and then you, I need you to go to control panel fill in user account and uh, manage another account yes and you need to create a new standard user because you cannot share files between an administrator user with PC so you need to make a new account you can remote you can call it remote or anything create a password to it and save that and you can close that now I am running my Mac OS X virtual machine right on my PC as you can see right here I can go back to my PC but um, it can work with the same and uh, the Mac has to be on on um, the wireless network or whatever you guys have so now you go on this Mac you go on go connect to server and then you write in this this address right here oh no not this address just a second let me close this thing you write this SMB colon forward slash forward slash and then 192.168.1.103 that's my IP address your IP address would be the one that I made you wrote down on the paper and then you can just connect and now it's going to ask you for the username and password so you just fill in remote as whatever your username is and fill in your password and connect and it's gonna ask me what would I want to mount on. Uh, I would go for users because then I can go to my administrator. And yeah, I can go on my this and I can share my files like on my documents, my downloads, my music, or my pictures, of course. So yeah, that's how you do it guys, and uh, you get that folder for here, over here at the Mac. You can just click it any time and uh, access it until you disconnect it. That would be clicking it right and eject. As I've done right there, it's closed. So thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, just rate, comment, or subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment. I'll be happy to assist you. And have a good day. Thanks for watching.